Oh, welcome back. Gary Johnson took the Libertarian Party's presidential nomination over the weekend. But a new Huffington Post poll says 66 percent of voters, they've never even heard of the former New Mexico governor. So what can he do to get his message out? Well, let's ask someone who's run for president three times. Dr. Ron Paul joins me now. He ran as a libertarian in 1988, then as a Republican in 2008 and 2012. Welcome back to the show, Dr. Paul. Thank you. Good to be with you, Kennedy. So uh, what did you find more satisfying, running as a libertarian or running as a Republican? What was better for you? Well, I've always run off for one reason, and that is to spread a, a message of liberty, and the success was much better in the Republican Party. But I think that a few seeds were planted in 1988 because a lot of people I met in 88 were still around, interested, and had built on the ideas of uh, the libertarian philosophy. So they're all the same, but some were, you know, some I think we achieved more than others. Yeah, and a lot of people credit you uh, with their interest in the liberty movement. A lot of those people disenchanted by the prospect of Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Um, they're intrigued <laughs> yeah. by Gary Johnson. This is certainly a year where an independent candidate could do well. Is he the best choice that lovers of liberty and libertarians have against these two behemoths? Well, if you ask the activists in the Libertarian Party, I would say that they're split because mm -hmm. uh, there, was a, there was a strong objection to Bill Weld being picked and thinking that was watering things down. So, yes, there's a lot of uh, people in the Libertarian Party itself that aren't all that enthralled with, uh, with the, way the way the message is being delivered right now. I think Gary, though, has the right idea. If he can somehow or another uh, get in the debates, uh, then there may be a contribution to expanding uh, the base for the libertarian message. And uh, that remains to be seen because I think uh, he has a long way to go for that. He does have a long way to go, certainly with the cartel that is the Commission on Presidential Debates. We talked about it at the beginning of the show. Um, what can Gary do to break through and get to that 15 percent? What can he do to increase his name recognition? If you sat down with him and were acting as a consultant, having been through the process three times, what would you tell him? Well, I would, I would want him to be more uh, of an um, outspoken uh, champion of liberty and be crisp and clear and not uh, make people wonder about it. I think when he uses the word liberal, that he's one half liberal, I don't consider myself one half conservative and one half liberal. Uh, I think those are moderates, and I'm not calling him a moderate, but I think that, uh, li that you have to be precise on what the non-aggression principle is all about and apply it consistently because it's such a wonderful opportunity to take that principle and apply it to economics and social issues yeah. equally. But liberals tend to want to emphasize the uh, social affirmative action program, and uh, that, that I don't think is going to be as appealing than a very crisp answer, because I think the bit of attention that I got, everybody knew exactly where I stood. Yeah. I was for personal liberty, and the foreign policy was very, very clear. Everybody learned a little bit about the Federal Reserve System. So I think it's much more important that to say that, get, put that message out as crisp and as loud as possible, and hopefully in this particular year that he will get more media attention. I think he already has because of the mess the Republicans and the Democrats are in. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's statism certainly on both sides. But I I'm wondering if you're ready to endorse him, given all that. No, not quite. I think there's too much confusion out there. But I'm telling people right now, and it would probably be my position, that if you want to vote on something to promote something important, uh, understand what the non-aggression principle is. The libertarians are the only ones who claim they believe in it. And uh, if you're confused and you don't like Republicans and Democrats, I would say vote for the Libertarian Party. But I don't think I'll be getting into personal endorsements. Okay, very good. Dr. Paul, thank you so much for your time. I always appreciate it. Thank you, Kennedy. Take care.